My colleagues and I were honored to receive a grant from CURE, the Isaiah Stone Award, in order to be able to look further into mechanisms of sudden death. You'll notice I didn't say suit up specifically because we were really beginning in a different way. We were studying the causes of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, and SUDC, sudden unexpected death in children. It's been long surmised that there may be a connection between unexplained death in infants, unexplained death in toddlers, and unexplained death as suit up in patients with epilepsy. When we look at patients who have epilepsy, for example, if they had epilepsy surgery, or if they die early from suit up and their brains are donated for research, we know that certain changes can be present in the hippocampus of the brain. What was intriguing is that my neuropathology colleagues came to me and said that they were seeing similar changes in the brains of individuals, children who had died of SIDS or SUDC. They showed me these samples and said, do you think these children had epilepsy? And I said, look, in epilepsy, we think of epilepsy as a clinical diagnosis. I can't tell you that from looking at the brains. But we hypothesized that there were mechanisms common to SIDS, SUDC, and SUDA. Through the CURE grant, we were able to bring together a multidisciplinary team with pediatrics, genetics, epilepsy, and neuropathological expertise. This work has led to the identification of changes in the gene SCN1A that many of you may know as the gene associated with Dravet syndrome, a condition very highly associated with SUDEP. We've seen changes in that gene as well as now a number of other genes in the individuals who died of SIDS and who died as toddlers. And these individuals often have changes in their brain that resemble the changes that we see in patients with epilepsy. It's possible that these children, these infants, may never have had a seizure that was witnessed, but that they had a tendency to seizure, and that the same mechanisms that led to their early and untimely deaths are the mechanisms that are leading to suit up in other individuals with known epilepsy. This spark from our CURE grant has led to an R21 grant from the NIH, and now a much larger group of individuals across many disciplines at our own institution. And our hope is that long-term we can now partner across institutions, across the country and across the world, to put our heads together, to put our research together, to put our data together, and really come, uh, come up with a much better understanding of all of these conditions and how they're related to each other.